Welcome back, everyone. All right, winter is closely sneaking up on us. And I have some big news. My boyfriend's a big skier, and he got me fully equipped to ski this winter. Did you ski last winter? No. So this Ask is the me when first the last time, time I skied was. When is the last time you skied? I don't skied? even remember. Oh, so I'm actually, it's a good year this I'm year. I'm really nervous about it. And we <laughs> have Delisa here from LDS Hospital. And we're talking about um, ways you can prepare yourself for winter sports, skiing, snowboarding. Thank you for being here. Yeah, so good morning. Yes. Um, so there are things you can do to start preparing now to um, prep your body for the winter sports that you love, like skiing or okay. snowboarding. And because falls are a very large percentage of skiing and snowboarding, injuries, it's important to start preparing now to create and condition your body for a strong lower body and a strong core. Jalisa, what injuries do you typically see? Knee ligament sprains and knee tears are going to be topping the list. You know, those are the most common that we're seeing. You know, okay. being unable to balance the body, not having a strong core, falling, lots of things like that. So a couple exercises will actually help you because you're probably going to fall. I mean, it's, it's going to happen, but you won't get that in an injury. Yeah, we want to minimize the risk and maximize your strength and balance. You're See, probably was, going to fall. Well, listen, <laughs> jerk. First of all, I was feeling super prepared because I have a helmet. Turns out... I didn't even think you about these You also other need things. to protect your knees. I know. So, okay, so you have some, some exercises for yes. us, right? So the first one we'll start is going to be for your lower body. It's going to be a squat jump, okay? Can, can you squat jump in heels, Niche? We could try. I will be let's very impressed. Okay. All right, let's try So it. you're going to start with your is knees. Is this a challenge? Wait, is this a challenge? Yes. Fine. Let's see how well. Let's see you can squat better okay. in, uh, in some heels. Okay. Okay, so you're going to lower your body and try to keep your your thighs parallel with the floor. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure your knees are behind your toes, mm -hmm. and you're going to jump up as high as you can and land softly on Okay, let's feet. see who can jump the highest. So let's see who I know, can but you have to land you're softly. Me, though. One, two, three. Oh, that was impressive. I didn't want my shirt to flip. So up. this is an exercise. She's got like five inches on me, by the way. <laughs> you can do. I just look like I jumped higher. Okay, what's the next an one? illusion. What's the next one? So this next exercise is going to be for your core. Okay. So you guys, do you want? Do you Let's guys do want it. to demonstrate this? Okay. Yes. Oh, we'll do it. So go ahead, and you're going to be on your back for this exercise. So go okay, ahead fine. and lay down. Did you hear my knees crack? These guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Okay. So you're going to okay. lay on your back. Okay. And you're going to bring your legs and your knees up to 90 degree angle, just like that. She's got it. Yeah? I got it. Okay, and actually, Michelle, turn this way because you're going to be extending your arm and you're like, so you need some space. Okay, so for this one, you're going to want to make sure your back is flat on the ground. Okay. Um, and you're going to tilt your pelvis If your microphone's your in the way, up. it's okay. <laughs> just go with it. You shouldn't have that problem. Either. Just go with you're it. You're going to tilt your um, pelvis up and squeeze your glutes. Wait, how if my legs are up? <laughs> Wait, my pelvis goes up? Wait. No, tilt. So you have, make sure that arch behind your back is flat. Oh. Can this is great, you guys. This is good. Can you show us? Can you do I it? Will, yep, I will demonstrate this. Okay, so you're going to start. <laughs> they, they look better, okay? So yeah, you're going to start flat on your back, and you're going to make sure you close that gap between the floor. That's what oh. I meant by tilting the pelvis up. Move. There we go. And you're going to slowly extend one arm in the opposite leg, and you're going to keep that core engaged, and then bring that back up and touch your knee. Got and it. And then you're going to do the other opposite leg and knee in one slow motion. You are so bad at this. Well, you're you, know, you know on the workouts when it's the lower impact one. Look, I'm that hey, guys, one. look. No hands. So <laughs> Both hands. Yeah, they are doing great. If now, this is any indication of our ski skills, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, aren't we? Big trouble. No, you guys are doing fabulous. Okay, we're, we have one more move, but can we do it during um, Facebook Live? Yep. Because and we, ran out and of time. we can Weird. throw that on we our website. <laughs> but I don't. I feel like we distracted you, Julissa. <laughs> we were okay. having too much fun. Go to our I'm website. We'll link you to LDS Hospital's website. It's right there. They have such great information, and hopefully, you won't be visiting them during <laughs> ski season. If you do these exercises, go to goodforutah.com/gtu. It'll all be right there.